How to gain trust. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Supply Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, first, let me apologize because my podcast was down for uh, for a week. But anyway, we're back up. We're going to uh, continue moving forward. Uh, but anyway, uh, this conversation came into being because I was talking to someone. Uh, they were talking about the topic was that we were having had to do with the COVID shot. Um, someone had told her that if she didn't get the COVID shot, that they wouldn't be able to trust her. And the person was offended because the fact is the person was linking trust to the fact that they didn't want to take the COVID shot. And I get it. I hear both sides in terms of the person saying um, the way it was worded was probably not the best way to do it because trust um, would be more like um, challenging a person's integrity, it, which is, I think, the way the person took it. And anyway, this is not about uh, the COVID-19 conversation. But anyway, it just, it just hit me because I remember someone telling me kind of the same thing, but it had to do with drinking and smoking and we were having a conversation and the person said i can't trust anyone because those who know them know who know me know that i don't smoke or drink and the person made the comment man i don't know if i can trust anybody that doesn't smoke or drink and my response to him was you know i laughed when he first said it and then i responded back and i said guess what i'm not going to smoke or drink to gain your trust that's kind of the response that i felt with this whole conversation Folks, and, and this is what I shared with him. Think about it. If I give in to your wishes, your wishes, not my wishes, your wishes, how could you trust me? If I'm easily swayed by the views of others, then how can I be a person of character and integrity and be trusted? Now, I'm not saying if people give you information and it's valuable information that you change your, your way of seeing things, your views, your actions. But that's because you changed them based on you changed your views and actions. Not because you changed because of someone else's views and opinions and you're against them and you don't agree with them and then you make the change. To me, and that's what I was sharing with the gentleman about the smoking and drinking, I said, if I tell you I don't, and then I do because of your comment, how could you actually trust me? I'm too easily swayed. Trust comes from a person that has, as you guys hear me say all the time, character and integrity. And that means standing for what you believe in. So if I'm willing to give in and cave in just because it's going to make you, quote unquote, as you say, trust me. I don't have character and integrity. I'm out of character and integrity. I'm too easily swayed. Again, I'm not saying people give you valuable information. And you, your thought process changes and therefore you change. So but anyway, what we're getting to here, as you can tell by the stories I just shared, trust is a choice. There's nothing you can do to gain someone's trust. They have to decide upon themselves that they trust you. Now, I'm not saying if you go out here and you do wrong, and y'all know what I'm talking about, <laughs> y'all folks out here are cheating on your partner, and then the person tells you you have to gain my trust, and the person goes, well, Ron said I can't make you change. <laughs> Don't be putting that on me, but uh, I can't make you trust me. Uh, but anyway, what I'm saying in that particular point, and you did create an obstacle by cheating. You're not going to make them change. But what you can do is make sure, as we always, I've always said, and you guys are going to hear me say it again, get back in character and integrity and have great character and integrity. And then they see that. And then they have the opportunity to change their perspective, their view and now trust you because person you could be the most loyal the most committed person in the world and if the person has trust issues they're not going to trust you you guys follow me 
we can't control other people's views, other people's perspectives. That's why for me, it's always about you having good character and integrity. You going out here and being the best person that you have and let people judge because they're going to do that anyway. So I'm not here to gain your trust. I'm here to have great character and integrity. And then you get to decide for yourself whether you trust me or not. But I can't make my decisions based on your wants, your needs, and then stay in character and integrity. You guys follow me? Because there is a difference. Again, if I agree with you, I change my views, I change my perspectives, and I do what you, what you, what you want me to do, I can still stay in character and integrity because the fact is I made the shift myself and you know it was based on, I mean, it can be based on the information you shared and you know that, wow, they made the change because of me, my input, not because of you, but because of my input. And they can still stay in integrity and character because you know why they made the change. But if I just solely do it because you said, I don't trust you unless you do this, folks, th this is not about living your life for others. This is about doing what you believe to be the right thing and let others decide for themselves their own views, their own perspectives. You'll, you'll, man, you'll lose sleep if you, if you spend your life trying to please and do what other people want you to do. And again, you could never have character and integrity because your, your, uh, your whole life, your whole being is based on other people's views and perspectives and therefore you're going to always be moving around and shifting from one thing to the next and guess what that pushes you out of integrity and character and then no one can trust you folks as we always have heard the same if you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything it's not a phrase that i use but it is a phrase that holds in this particular uh situation folks stand for what you believe in if, if people can give you enough information, and I've heard it said many times, a leader is a person that changes their views very, very slowly, but very, very quickly. Now, I know people are like, huh? What it means is they stand for what they believe in, and it's going to take a lot to get them to move off of their thought process. But if you could give them enough data, enough information to believe in what you're saying and agree with what you're saying, they'll change quickly because they're not a person that's going to sit around and that's what leaders do. They're not going to sit around and go, let me think about it. Okay, get back to me next week. Get back to me. No, leaders make decisions based on the data that they have, what making the most sense. Let's do this. That's why, you know, when people talk about failing or whatever, and you guys know I don't use the word fail, but anyway, that's why they quote unquote will fail more than others because the reality is when they believe in something, they take action. That's what makes them a leader. And they'll live with the consequences. It's the people that can't decide, there lies the issue. So folks, be a person that stands for what you believe in. If you can give me enough data to make a change, I'll change quickly. That's exactly the way I live my life. But it's gonna take some, it's gonna take some some good data. Because there's a reason I believe the way I believe. Because I have data in there, which is why I believe the things that I believe. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm talking about. I have my beliefs for a reason. I don't just say I because I'm not a person that follows what the crowd says. So if I tell you this the way where I stand on something, I can also explain to you why I believe that. And you're going to have to have some good data, 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 whatever way you like to pronounce that, in order to sway me off of my way of thinking. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you this is uh, haven't had the chance to run over and check out everything that I'm doing, run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online, and you can check out all the things that I got going on. Man, they they cutting the grass. <laughs> Sorry, you guys probably heard that, probably interrupted stuff. But anyway, um, ronsimplifiedmyers.online, check me out over there. And then just, folks, if you're not having fun, 
you should be doing something else. And just remember, your life is based on your character, your integrity, and you don't let other people sway you by threatening not to be your friend, not to talk to you, not to communicate with you, unless you take on their view. Or as a gentleman told me, I can't trust you because you don't smoke or drink. Oh well, I guess you won't trust me. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.